Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with the new Farida OT12 guitar. Farida guitars aren't quite as well known as some other brands. Uh, they're made in China, and they're built in collaboration with a major US-based distributor. And that is a very fruitful partnership uh, that has led to a whole line of very high quality and yet affordable instruments. The OT12 that I'm holding here is uh, part of a new line of Farida guitars. It's the OT10 line. And um, this particular one is the most affordable one of the bunch. And um, it's a very cool little guitar based on the uh, single O uh, body shape, a kind of a classic design, uh, single O 14 fret, that is. And um, it sort of combines some different elements uh, from several different classic American guitars. The OT12 is built with a solid Sitka spruce top. Uh, in this case, it's got a beautiful sunburst finish on it, uh, kind of a vintage style sunburst. The guitar has laminated uh, mahogany back and sides. The guitar has a NATO neck, and NATO is a wood that's uh, very similar to mahogany. Uh, it grows in Asia, and it's used in a lot of different guitars, very stable material. Um, and the guitar uses acacia for its fingerboard and bridge. As is typical for a single O uh, style guitar, the instrument has a relatively short scale, in this case 24.7 inches, has a somewhat narrow neck, it's uh, 1 11 16th at the nut, and uh, the result of uh, those features is that it's a very easy to play guitar between the small body that's very comfortable to hold mm -hmm. and the uh, shorter scale which gives you a little bit more flexibility in the strings, makes the reaches a little bit shorter for, for playing chords, and uh, as such the guitar would make a wonderful instrument for um, an entry level or developing player. Um, you will notice that besides the sunburst finish, it has uh, fairly simple appointments, a kind of uh, cream colored binding on the body uh, with simple uh, one line purfling, a simple two ring rosette. Uh, it's got a tortoise style pick guard. One great feature about Farida guitars is that they use genuine bone for the nut and saddle of the guitar, which is uh, an element that really has an impact on the sound and many people agree that bone is probably the best sounding material you can use. The guitar uses open back uh, three on a plate tuning machines, sort of in line with the general vintage vibe of the guitar. These tuners work beautifully. Uh, they have cream colored buttons on them, uh, which are that great match with the binding of the guitar. Other appointments include basic dots in the fingerboard, and of course, there are also some position markers on the sides. So you can always know what position you're playing in on this guitar. So you heard me play the Farida OT12 uh, playing fingerstyle a little bit uh, in the beginning of this video. Let me also show you what it would sound like played with a pick. Uh, guitars like this can be wonderful instruments for accompanying roles. They don't have uh, too big a booming bass. They can be very nice uh, in playing in an ensemble as well. Uh, so let me just give you an idea of what that's like. Again, the playability of the guitar is excellent, especially up here in the first position. Uh, on some entry-level guitars, you can see that the nut is cut a little bit too high and makes it hard to play bar chords in the first position. That's a non-issue with this guitar. Uh, it's really set up very nicely. Clearly, the uh, bone nut has some uh, hand adjustments done on this, and uh, it, uh, it, it's easy to play all the way around. So that's the Farida OT12. Uh, the other guitars that are available in the OT10 line include a version of this with solid mahogany back and sides, and there's also a version with power ferro back and sides, which is closer to a rosewood kind of a sound. So a very cool line of instruments, um, great addition to the Farida line, and I would encourage you to check them out. My name is Taya Gurken. Please come back here to Peggot Nation for more of our gear demos. Thank you. Thank you.